Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. I first heard about the Shalva Band back in November when they came to my community for a concert. And I was amazed by their musical talent. I was inspired by their personal stories. I went to the show expecting to see an amateur performance. And instead, I was very moved to hear a talented band with a very professional presentation. And that was an experience that really changed the way that I thought about and understand inclusion and accessibility. That's really all the introduction that this band needs. It's certainly all the introduction that I'm going to give. I'm going to ask that everyone please shut off your cell phones, put them on silent, close your laptops. I want to introduce Kalman Samuels, who's the founder of Shalvo, who's going to give us a minute or two of background on the organization, and then we'll hear from the band. Kalman? Good afternoon. It is a total privilege to be here at Google and I want to thank David and everybody who's made this possible. Just to give you Shalva 101 for two minutes, uh, I'm a Canadian from Vancouver, Canada. Went to Israel when I was 18 on my way to France, stayed, became religious, met my beautiful wife Malki, and uh, our second child, Yossi, at the age of 11 months, had a medical issue that developed, and well, not, let's say that again, there was a medical procedure that went bad and he became blind and deaf. And people asked my wife to think about putting him out of the house because he was very, very challenging. And uh, my wife would cry at night and say, God, I'm never putting Yossi out of the house, but if you ever decide to help our Yossi, I'm gonna dedicate my life to helping other mothers with their challenges. At the age of eight, unexpected, Yossi had a breakthrough to communication via a teacher in the deaf school who was deaf herself, and spelling in the word of palm of his hand over and over again the five Hebrew letters for the word table or shulchan, Yossi suddenly lit up, and she, in her words, said he just had his Helen Keller moment. So she turned to me, said it's payback time, I know exactly what I want to do, I know how I want to help other mothers, it took me three years to find anyone who would buy into her dream. We opened with five children with cognitive disabilities. Malki did everything except for a professional and a few volunteers. And it grew in ways that we could never have foreseen. Today, we serve over 2,000 people a week from birth, including mothers who just gave birth to babies they weren't expecting and all the way through to independent living in the community and seniors. The band is yet another dream that we began 11 years ago and no one could have expected where they have come. These are young adults. These people have the respect of now making a living through their music and for them to be playing here at Google is in my mind, the ultimate statement about inclusion, about integration, and that I believe is the measure of any program, whether or not we can get them into a situation where they can fulfill their dreams in such a manner. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce the band. Ladies and gentlemen, coming all the way from Jerusalem, the Shalva Band. Hello, my name is Naftali Shmo Weiss. I'm 25 years old. I play in the Shalva Band. My dream is to become a famous singer and to make people happy. Hi, my name is Tal Kima. My dream is to save the lives in the family. Hi, Shalom, for Yosef Avadia, my name is Mav. My dream is to learn children with disabilities, like I did in the school of the school of the school. Hello, my name is Anael, and my dream is to fly to New York and to sing this song.
יו יו יו, I love you, יאיר, החלום שלי להיות ראפר. היי, מה אני מזדינה? החלום הכי גדול שלי, שזה בעצם להוציא דיס מקצועי עם להקת שלווה. היי, אברי, מה אני מזגאי? ומי דרים זה להביא את המוזיק לכל כך הרבה אנשים כך אפשר, that no matter what disability you have, you have all you need to succeed. Thank you, New York. Thank you, New York. Everyone, put your hands together for the Shalva Band! Hi everyone, we are the Shalva Band. We are very excited to be here with you. It's an honor for us to be here. We are going to sing one day. Are you ready? One day 
We all have our difficult moments. We all have complaints. But it is important to understand that there is much to be thankful for. Stand up. I cannot see you, but I hear. Some of you are still sitting in my right. Please, everyone, stand up together with me. For a single moment without any vision, I hope you feel and understand that there is what to be grateful for. Thank you for a warm drink in the morning. Thank you for healthy legs to go for beautiful walks. Thank you for laughter. Thank you for the ability to sing. Thank you, Father and Mother, for a good meal. Thank you for a surprise gift. Thank you for the opportunity to sing and create joy. Thank you for the hard times because only through. Thank you for the privilege of standing here, being able to say thank you. Thank you for support. Thank you for love. Thank you for the children. Thank you for friends. Thank you for the little blessing. Thank you for the hard times because only through difficult moment, I am able to appreciate all that I have. Thank you, God, for the butterflies. And thank you, my dear friends. Please sit down.
Good evening, everyone. We're the Shalva Band. I'd like to introduce to you the members of our band, my friends. We're going to start with the singers and end up with me because we keep the best to the end. The first leader singer, Dina Sapte. El Khalifa Naftali Vice On the drums, we have Ovadia Yosef, but uh, I gotta tell you something, uh, Ovadia isn't that much into jazz, so uh, Ovadia, why don't we take it somewhere else? Whoa, one, two, three, All right! Percussions, Tal Kima. Yael Bloomberg. On 
the violin, Abigail Sokolov. On the flute, Dana Weiss. On the guitar, Sarah Samuels. together for our musical director, Shai Ben Shushan. On the keyboard, Guy Maman. take about 10 or 15 minutes and just get to know our band members a little bit and then we're going to go back for some more music. I'm going to start with Anael. Hi. Anael, can you tell us a little bit more about what music means to you and how music has changed your life? Um, music for me is the way to see the world. זה מביא את כל הצבעים לעולם שלי. It brings all colors to my world. כל צליל בשבילי הוא מאוד מאוד משמעותי. Music is very meaningful to me. Every note. מאז שאני קטנה, ההורים שלי היו משמיעים לי מוזיקה מאז שנולדתי. Since I was born, my parents played music to me. אצלי לא היה סיפור לפני השינה, היה דיסקים לפני השינה. I didn't have a story before bedtime. It was CDs. Music helped me through childhood. When I came to Israel from France, I wanted a lot of attention. So I started singing. And people started looking at me with a different look. When I joined the band, I understood what confidence is. 
כי המוזיקה בעצם, הלהקה, המוזיקה נתנה לי את הביטחון הזה. Because this band gave me my confidence. זה שאני פה ומופיעה ושרה. The fact that I'm here and performing and singing. זה ממש לא היה מובן מאליו. It's not to be taken for granted. ו... וזה מה שהמוזיקה בעצם אה, נתנה לי. And that's what music gave me. So you're all professional musicians, but I understand that you all have other jobs and roles at Shalva, and I'd like to hear more about some of the other work that you do. כולכם מקצועים בנגינה, אבל אתם גם עושים עבודות אחרות בשלווה. יאיר, מה אתה עושה בסדנה? יאיר? שלום. הלו. אני בעיקרון, אני עובד בסלווה. פעם עבדתי פעם מנסר בדור בית קפה סלווה, עכשיו לא, עכשיו מסדרו לי עבודה חדשה. I used to work at the Shalva coffee shop. We have a cafe at Shalva, and now I have a new job. I wrap tea bags at our workshop. <coughs> David, the guy who works with him, brings the tea. We prepare it. We put it in tea bags, and then we wrap it in a box, and we sell them in the Shalva gift shop. As you see, I work with a band as well. Performed all over the world, London, Mexico, and now I'm here in New York at Google, and it's a lot of fun for me, so thank you very much. Shai, can you tell us a little bit about where and how the band has been a bridge across different cultures? Eifo ve'ech ha'lehaka gishero ben tarbuyot shonot. First of all, hello everybody. Thank you, David, that you bring us to here. אני אדבר בעברית, בסדר? ואתה תתרגם אותי. מה שמיוחד בלהקה הזאת זה בעצם להקה שמראה לעולם שהכל אפשרי. Special thing about this band is that it shows the world that everything is possible. לראות אותם בהתחלה שאנשים לא התייחסו אליהם ועכשיו הם מופיעים כל יום בכל המקומות, מופיעים בפני כל התרבויות. To see them at first when people didn't really pay attention to them and now they're performing everywhere, every day in front of all people. זה אחד הדברים שאותי כל פעם מאוד מרגש, לראות שאנשים מסתכלים עליהם לא רק על המוגבלות שלהם, אלא על היכולת שלהם ועל המקצועיות שלהם. It's one of the things that excites me most to see that people don't look at them, look, look at their disabilities, but at their talent, their abilities and their professionalism. Thank you very much. There's no center like Shalva in the world. It's the largest center of its kind. And Dina, I'd like to hear a little bit more about what you love about Shalva. Truth is that I love many things at Shalva. Shalva, first of all, is a family. כאילו שומעים את המילה שלווה, אז כאילו חושבים שזה ישר עמותה, אבל כשנכנסים, רואים משהו אחר. When you hear שלווה, you think it's an organization, but when you walk in, you feel it's something else. אני הגעתי לפני חמש, חמש וחצי שנים. I came five and a half years ago to שלווה. בשביל להתנדב ולעזור לשיר, לנגן בחדר הלקה. To volunteer with kids with disabilities and help them through music. דרך שלווה, אז אני מגשימה את החלום שלי. And through שלווה, I'm fulfilling my dream. את הביטחון שלי היום, אז זה לא בא ממני לבד. It built my confidence. שיש לי פה חברים, ואת המנהל להקה שי, וכל הצוות המדהים הזה. Being with my friends, and with the band director שי. 
שאוהבים אותי ותומכים בי, אז מחזקים אותי. And strengthen me. Give me strength. I don't want to take too much time away from the music. <laughs> Googlers, if you're interested in more stories, you certainly can stay after the show for a few minutes while the band will still be here. I hope that you're finding this as a great opportunity to experience inclusion and accessibility in a positive and inspiring way, to think differently about challenges, achievement, bravery, and acceptance, and to appreciate the greatness that can become possible through motivation and hard work. This is a world where people are people first and foremost. We're united by our humanity rather than separated by our differences. And the Shalva van very much encompasses that aspect of our culture. If you have additional questions, feel free to linger afterwards. Otherwise, we'll go back to the music. Okay.
said aloud But I can't hear a word you say I'm talking loud, not saying much I criticize But all your bullets ricochet Et tout recommencer S'il suffisait qu'on s'aime S'il suffisait d'aimer Nous ferions de ce rêve un monde S'il suffisait d'aimer
now we want to sing the last song. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping left its seat while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence. In restless dreams, I walked alone, narrow street of cobblestone, near the hill. I turn my color to the cold and dark When my eyes were stuck by the flash of a neon light That split the night And touched the sound of silence And in the naked light I saw Ten thousand people maybe People talking without speaking People hearing without listening People writing songs That voices never share No one dare Disturb the sound of silence Who said I you do not know people